I think like, at the end of the day, if you're thinking about flying cars or a cure for aging or any other sort of deeper sort of transformational innovations of that type, you might argue that uh, our visions for, for how quickly the world will innovate might not have been met. But really, when I think about innovation, I look at it a little bit in a different way. What I think has happened over time is you ended up being in an environment where there's a lot, uh, on the first hand, a lot more people being part of the innovation process. Like uh, crowdsourcing, as an example, made capital and funding a lot more accessible. Not just for the elite few or the big corporations, a lot more, a lot more people are actually uh, embarking on the journey to innovate. You also have innovation actually affecting a larger swath of industries. And this is because of the mobile devices that we have uh, and platforms like social networks that came to be, which allow for very quick distribution. You don't need to buy a new hardware device uh, for every single function. If you want to book a new hotel room, or hail a cab, or, or do anything else, it can all be done in one single device. So a lot more industries are getting impacted. And more importantly, I think, What's happening is the breadth and the number of people that are actually benefiting from these innovations is growing exponentially. Meaning, I wasn't here, I wasn't in the world that at that point to even experience this, but I read somewhere online that uh, it took something like 30 years for electricity to get a 10% adoption in the US, uh, for the telephone about 25 years, and tablets, which I do know, about five years. So the adoption curve is a lot it's a lot more uh, steep. And one of the interesting things about the bit world is the impact goes to the atom world in, in a lot of ways from an innovation point of view. Even if you look at Twitter and the 140 characters, uh, you can look at it from, wow, this is just a way to shorten your messages. Or you can look at it, this is a platform that has completely disrupted media and has completely uh, reversed the, the central power from being top down to being the masses can speak to the masses. And this can lead to real innovations such as uh, you know, uh, democracy of voice. You can create and, and push through innovations in, in politics, be it Arab Springs, uh, emergency responses. That's an example of meaning really the impact for these technologies can be really widespread and fundamental in our lives. Even though they're being done at the bit level, they're really impacting real world industries and empowering them and empowering people as well. People came to the center, I think, in the last few years.